Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so music, absolute music to my ears. I've seen reports recently that the Giants are interested in trading up to number three to take Drake May. We've seen, like, we've seen reports for the last month or so that the Giants are really interested in Drake May. The problem is we're like, he's probably going to go with the third pick. But we're also seeing that the Patriots are open to moving that pick. It doesn't make sense at all to me. I think they need to take whatever uh, of those top three quarterbacks is still there. I think the Patriots should take. But apparently, hopefully, this isn't smoke. And they're open to trading that pick. And we've seen that the Giants are open to moving up for that pick. So we don't have that second round pick now. We don't have that extra second. So we're going to have to dig into next year. It's probably going to take, of course, the pick, the sixth overall pick. We're going to swap picks. We're probably going to have to give this second round pick this year. Um, may have to give a two next year and maybe a one next year too because we're going to be competing with a lot of other teams to move up to that third pick. If they love Drake May, go get him. Go get him. Because, listen, the guy right here over my shoulder... You said at six, you just took him. Uh, he he wasn't projected to go with the sixth overall pick. I'm not one of the crazy nut jobs that tries to say that Daniel Jones would have gotten undrafted. He would have gone in the third or fourth round. Absolutely not. There were teams in the teens that we know, we've heard multiple times, that were very interested in taking Daniel Jones in the teens. Uh, a couple of them to, to note the Broncos, uh, the Commanders. At that point, I think they were the Redskins. But the, these teams were interested in taking Daniel Jones. And, and that's a whole other discussion. But for right now, we need a new quarterback. We need a new quarterback. Whatever you think of Daniel Jones right now, he is he's just shot. He is shot. And he's not that player that we wanted him to be. So in order to move this ship forward and, and to really spark New York City to really get fans interested in the New York Giants again, to get fans excited about the future. Making that move with a quarterback that has all the physical tools in the world, a guy that pulling up his stats and basically two seasons, he's thrown for over 8,000 yards, uh, eight <laughs> over eight yards of attempt, eight and a half yards in attempt, uh, 63 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. He has thrown for a 64 completion percentage, which, I mean, it's college, but he also takes his he also takes his shots down the field. But he's a guy that needs some help. He's going to need some work. He's going to need some polishing. This may be a perfect scenario. This may be your perfect scenario of Drew Locke is out there or Daniel Jones is out there playing football. Drake May is writing things down. Drake May is sitting on the sideline just looking at the, the the successes that those two quarterbacks have, the mistakes they make, and getting coached up by Brian Dable and uh, Shea Tierney and Mike Kafka. So I think this is the perfect quarterback to develop. And this this isn't even me saying that he couldn't come out and just play, but I think he also needs some he also needs some refinement. He's not as raw as Josh Allen was, but he does need some refinement. But He's big. He's a big quarterback. He's athletic. He's strong. He has a really strong arm. He can move. He's not as fast in a straight line as Daniel Jones is, but not many people are, to, to be funny. And um, look what that's really gotten us. It hasn't gotten us much. So he's a guy that I think can really get some things done. And um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited because if we can move up to take Drake May, man, 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 that, 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 that would be great. And also... Looking at those other two picks, maybe there's a tiny, maybe there's a tiny, tiny chance that they don't like Caleb Williams at one and they take Marvin Harrison Jr. Maybe there's a tiny chance that uh, Jaden Daniels falls to three. We don't know which quarterback uh, Washington is going to take. You got to think they're going to take one, but we don't know which one they're going to take. And there is a very tiny chance that we can have either one of those top three quarterbacks. So moving up to three, 
is a huge go to me if New England is, is is willing to move that pick. I'm more than willing to move up to go get Drake May or go get Jaden Daniels or whoever is there at number three because the Giants need a quarterback in the worst way. Yes, we could get my guy Malik Neighbors. I've been waiting for a LSU wide receiver of his caliber to fall to a pick to where the Giants could need a receiver and take him. And this will be the perfect year. I've been waiting for Malik Neighbors to, to score a touchdown and I and I can sing the neighbors know my name every time he scores a touchdown. But we need a quarterback because just like that little graphic, Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase with no offensive line, you don't get a completion. And Joe Burrow uh, with Penn A. Sewell with a no-name wide receiver, you get a completion. Well, guess what? Uh, Daniel Jones to Jalen Hyatt, you don't get a completion. Daniel Jones to Malik Neighbors, you don't get a completion. And, and so on. You get what I'm saying. If you can't get the ball to that star wide receiver, it doesn't matter. And don't tell me, oh, well, great wide receivers make it happen regardless. Because I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. I've seen a couple of receivers receiving, you know, pass catchers that have come here that have had high hopes and none of them have looked like elite wide receivers. None of them. And, and you can just say maybe they were at the end of their careers. Kenny Galladay hasn't played since he left, but I think Kenny Galladay had a year or two left. He didn't look like the same player. Uh, Darren Waller. Yes, he was injured, but I just don't believe that we could get a wide receiver of that caliber and really be able to evaluate him with the play we've been getting at quarterback. This guy will not throw it down the field. This guy will not be aggressive. For some reason, he, he loves to be aggressive in the 8 to 10 yard mark. He loves to throw those tight spirals, you know, five, six yards down the field and have the ball get tipped up in the air. But down the field, he doesn't take those shots. Tyrod Taylor came in here and drove the car better than him. Danny DeVito, not Danny DeVito, Tommy DeVito came in here and, and had things, you know, moving throwing the ball downfield. So does Daniel Jones have the capability to be a good quarterback in this league? Absolutely, but he doesn't have the mindset. And we can't wait for this guy to finally develop the mindset. We're going into year six. He got drafted in 2019. Let's count, folks. 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. This is the sixth year in the league. He's getting paid $40 million a year, and we're still waiting for this guy to develop in the quarterback we want him to be. Surprise, it's probably not going to happen. So I would love to move up to this number three pick. I would love to, to even stay at six and take the best quarterback available. But I think um, I think moving up to three is a beautiful idea and will be a beautiful move from Joe Shane if he can pull it off. You guys, let me know what you think about moving up for a guy like Drake May. I know some people hate Drake May. So let me know what you all think. If you made it this deep into the video. Come on, just hit the subscribe button. I make Giants content primarily, draft content secondarily. And during the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of reacting to pretty much most of the NFL games and everything NFL. So if you made it this deep, go ahead and join the D6 squad.